Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I, for I forgot about my whole sewing video in the beginning, right? So listen, uh, bear with me, everyone. There's a lot of construction going on in my place right now. So, um, yeah, here we are. Here I am up earlier than I should be. Well, not than I should be, but earlier than I expected anyway. But nonetheless, here we go. So I'd like to um, um, not congratulate. I was about to say congratulate, but I'd like to thank everyone who participated in the comment section of the first Venus video. Where's your Venus? This is part two of this. Um, so I am going to continue this, and I'm actually going to make a... A real solid video following up on this one and I'm gonna put it in the membership um, playlist so because it's, it's, it gets gets deep it gets deep trust me when I tell you so back to this whole Venus thing right so Venus is we can look at Venus in the form of federal promissory notes I believe that's what fiat currency is called right and um so you know, I mentioned in the first video that this is one of the oldest forms of currency money in the universe or that took place on Earth is the utilization of Venus money. Um, however, if we I got to rephrase that sort of because of when the actual money, the fiat currency over here came into play, which is when uh, the gold standard was shut down. Right, so if you're not familiar with the gold, the gold standard, please everyone look it up so you can be on track with us. And um, it basically just states when our existence was not backed by gold anymore. Our economy, our trade was not backed by gold anymore. So what this means in a nutshell, and people don't, well, financiers are not really going to explain this to anyone, right? It's something that you got to figure out on your own is that for every person that's on, every human person that's on earth, you got to be accounted for. It has to be backed by gold. And you might be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Or like, who's ever told you that, right? However, it's true. That's the basis that everyone was rolling off of. Even back to Rome, all of the coinage, they were made of metals, right? You go even further back, made of metals. Stuff like that, right? It wasn't until later that, you know, these, these notes came into play because people felt like they didn't want to carry gold around all of the time. And who blames you, right? You, you think the jack boys are out now. They're really out then, right? So, okay, hold, store the gold and give me some notes in return as long as they are equal to the gold. Well, that's not the case anymore. See, I'm getting too much into the, to the video I'm going to put into the, to the membership playlist, but you get where I'm going with this, right? So I have to rephrase Venus being such an old um, form of currency. However, the act of Venus being a form of currency is probably the oldest. You probably heard prostitution is the oldest profession on earth, right? Um, so what I mean by saying that, by mentioning that is the exchange of human interaction is a form of currency regardless. Now, um, people who know about the planets and how they fall and how they're dignified and exalted in certain places, especially Taurus, y'all should know about this, how Venus is exalted. And, um, I mean, Venus rules over, pardon me. Uh, Pisces, you should know about this. Taurus is as well because Venus is dignified in Taurus, excuse me, and but it's exalted in the sign of Pisces. And what you learn with Venus being exalted in the sign of Pisces is that it's not an actual exchange of currency between the two people as far as paper notes go. It's more about the time spent with each other. And this is a key component in understanding your Venus as well. Because if you could look at job creation today, right? Some jobs that you think about, you'd be like, yo, why is this even a job? Like, how did this become a job? Who thought of this, right? So you can actually consider that. People or think tanks are sitting around thinking about, well, what can we turn into a job? And the reason being is because of the increase of population. I'm just telling you, that's a hint, right? The reason being is the increase of population. What are these people going to do? Or what are we going to do with all of these people? They got to have jobs. They have to have something to keep themselves occupied, to keep themselves busy, or you know the alternative to that sometimes, right? And lo and behold, it could be going off the grid, going in the woods somewhere, and, you know, just living life as a minimalist, living life in a, in a cottage somewhere, and, you know, not expecting too much out of life, and that's cool, but on the other side of the spectrum is the urban centers, right? What are we going to do with all of these people here? So, you think about, I'm going to keep it light, so think about a job creation like, 
such as uh, agriculture, like the supermarket or something like that, right? You got to say, oh, a lot of people got to come in. Or not even not even just that. The fast food industry will take it as far as saying, oh, we got to pump up all these chickens. We got to keep breeding these chickens. We got to keep breeding these chickens because we need church chickens. We need Popeye chickens. We need Kennedy fried chicken. We need Kentucky fried chicken. We need chicken, right? So from the outside looking in, you might just pause for a minute and be like, God damn. What's up with all this chicken? Like, why do we need so much chicken? Why do we need so much chicken factories and chicken workers and chicken? Every, everything is chicken, right? Why can't people just farm their own food or raise their own chickens in their backyard and shit like that, right? Well, you know that that's not happening. But this is, this is the point that I'm making. It's because people need something to do. Plus, we're not on the gold standard anymore. So it's like, okay, here you go. You can't... It's illegal to you know farm your own stuff and do all of that stuff but we do have these centers that you can come on down to to get your food as long as you pay for it you know what i mean and then we pay for the people to you know manufacture distribute it package all of that good stuff right so the form of currency that venus is naturally associated with has been altered a bit um in exchange for just pretty much just for labor just for labor And this is why it's important to understand why Venus is exalted in Pisces because it's not a it's not about the price tag that's on something. When you spend quality time with somebody, it's memorable, it's precious. You reflect on it later on in life, like, oh man, I remember I was with her B. Oh man. Like that those were the days. Those were some times, weren't they? Right? You get to reflecting about that and can't you can't put no money on that. You, all you can do is say, you know what, I wish I could go back to that time. You know what I'm saying? Or I wish things can go back to the way they were. Or I wonder where she Yeah, I wish she ain't move away. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like, But you can't put a price tag on it. You get what I'm saying? So that's why it's exalted inside of Pisces. And it's dignified in Taurus. And the difference between it being dignified in Taurus and being dignified in Libra is this. Well, let's just... Well, and ruling over Venus is this. Right? With v, I mean, with, let me start with Libra. With Libra, it's we want to we want to balance things out because we understand that there's going to be exchange between two people, right? So one person has to feel gratified in what they're experiencing, and the other person has to feel that way as well, or else no deal, no contract, no exchange of currency, right? Now with Taurus, it's a it's 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 a it's a bit different because Taurus, this is personal. You know what I mean? Taurus, this is personal. Taurus gets to, Taurus gets to peg the price. The Taurus energy gets to peg the price and say, "Well, this is what this means to me. This is how much it means to me." You know what I mean? So you can say that I deserve this much because the other person is supposed to get that much. But I'm telling you, this is what I feel about it. Like if I like silk, I like silk. If I like silk better than cotton, then that's what it is. Like I want silk. Stop trying to share cotton with me. You understand what I'm saying? And I'll pay top dollar for silk. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll shop around and get a bargain for it. But I'm going to be at the head of this whole negotiation table until I get what I want. And if not, then we're going to reach a stalemate or whatever the case may be. Right? So that's the difference. And um, these days and times, you can just think about it yourself. Like, I'm not going to put an official stamp on it. But if you could look at people and see what they put their value on. And ask yourself, is it worth that? Would you pay that much for this? Would you pay that much for that? And what is priced at right now? And why not if you wouldn't? You understand what I'm saying? And why would you pay over the price that someone is selling something to you for? Right? And this is how the importance of Venus is emphasized as an individual. Right? Because it also comes in the form of things that you can feel. It comes in the form of things that you can feel, and that's why it's so imperative to associate Venus with human interaction. That's why I mentioned it along with prostitution. Don't get mad at me, y'all. Don't get mad at me. Because when it gets to the Libra effect, then it's about marriage, right? Oh, you got to have a contract, and if you break up and get a divorce, then 50% goes over here, and then this one's taking the kids, and this one's taking the house. And nah, this is not this is not what we're talking about. And in the, in the, we're talking more of a Torian thing about the feel of things, right? The feel of another person, the... The act of intimacy of making love and uh, making love. I just sound corny, right? R&B ruined us. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm an 80s baby. Um, Made us soft. I ain't going to say it ruined us. It made us soft. But anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, so the, the feeling of touch. You know what I'm saying? The exchange of touch 
is high powered when it comes to Venus. So if it's not an actual human to touch, you're going to touch some cloth or some fabric. And that's why, you know, Taurian energy is very fashionable as well, as well as Libra. It's because, okay, the aesthetics, I want to be able to touch something because that can tap into my memory as well and, and give me a euphoria that, you know, lets me know that I'm here. I'm actually here and conscious because I can touch and feel the textures of these things. So, and think about this before I'm going to leave you with this note. Um, because I got to go out in the field and all that. So think about this, right? Venus is the star before the sun. So what that means is, and the soul, the, the sun represents gold and, and money and currency on the earth, y'all. I just wanted to make that clear in case, you know, I said it in another video, but I just wanted to emphasize that in case there's some new subscribers on here, some new listeners. Um, So the Venus shines before the sun does. So, you know, Venus, the letter V in the shape of a V, shape of a vagina you know comes before the sun so the sun comes before you know you know what i'm saying the sun comes after so you know the sun can also be relative to your son you understand what i'm saying so it's the woman first what was first the chicken and egg is the woman first then the man comes out of the womb you know what i'm saying into the earth so just think for a minute about how precious that is and what that means to life and at the same time think about the term downsizing population because not everyone believes that that's such a precious thing anymore, right? So just give me some things to reflect on while I get out of here. You can get in the comment section, you know, chime in all you want the same way that we did before. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Till later.